this town is called Ampeyi. Ampeyi. Ampeyi, yeah, and this is where my father comes from. My mother is at um, uh, Salt Pond, my father comes from Ampeyi. And uh, my father passed on two years ago and he was buried not far from here. Uh, my father's house is just behind us. Uh, my uncle has a, a land, and I was talking to some of you, of a land that we want to give out. Um, there are some African Americans who have also uh, gotten some land there. And then uh, there are some Europeans also that have gotten land at that area. It's a service plot. There is light there already. Um, it go, a plot, one plot goes for $3,000. One plot goes for $3,000. It's very close to the ocean. Very what close is the, to the size ocean. of the plot though? Uh, it's 80 by 100 feet. 80 by 100 feet. Uh, this include even giving you indenture. The 3,000 include giving you indenture. Yeah. Uh, indenture is the first document that you need. Uh, that will be able to go to the government department for them to process everything in your name. So they give you in danger. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's a, we have two sides of the land. As we go along, we will see. There are some people who have also set up. Uh, there is hotels and um, um, restaurants and other uh, businesses all over. So if you if you are interested in it, as we will go there for you to see if you are interested in it, uh, let me know. I will just inform you. Um, or even if you go back to US and uh, you want to get this land, when you go, we will take pictures of it. Uh, you can just get in touch with me on ckabakan at gmail.com. C K A B A K A H at gmail dot com. It's all in the book. <laughs> You're right. <absolutely>. Yeah. <laughs> it's all in the book. So you can just get in touch with me, and then I will let him know. Uh, then we we'll uh, you'll get everything in your name. Could you, um, my brother, explain to them? how they can secure the land, that it's not ownership, it's, it's not freehold, it's leasehold. Yeah. Because okay. they're not uh, uh, Thank you, I'll do that. I'll do that one, because I need to, I'll do some of the other some directions. to a place that the bus is very big so the bus cannot go the bus cannot go down there so we'll do a little exercise we'll be working a little bit so therefore uh, those who are interested and want to see uh you will just come down and then uh i'll take you to the place for you to see thank you yeah you see this post you see this electric post oh yeah all down there uh, <clears throat> that is where the, the land is. Just a little bit down there, that's where the, uh, uh, the land is. So it's very close to the ocean. The ocean is just here. But from this side, we can also see it very clearly. So those are, please, let's go down and then let's have a look at it. Let us see. Wow, so this is all the land you're talking about. All this land is what I'm talking about. Uh, how much, um, what's the total acreage of land? Um, I cannot tell right now, but it looks as if it's uh, more than uh, 50 acres. Oh, perfect. So, yes. So, it's all, of the, it's, um, all of that uh, property for um, yes, for, for the property. Yes, for my, uh, my uncle, who is the family head and who is selling this land to our brothers and sisters for them to come back home and settle. That's 
perfect. It's always a powerful initiative. So family, that's what we're doing. We're connecting you to um, land opportunities for you to have a better and more successful options of repatriation. And these are our people, our connections, and we're gonna make sure that you get taken care of 100% uh, uh, with no problems. So that's the difference between you getting land from people that you don't know and connections that are not tight. This, this, this is our family. We've been, we've been um, connecting our people to the African continent for a decade and you have seen multitude of people that share many details. I mean, this is a connection and energy that we built from the ground up and we appreciate everybody's contribution and dedication to our brothers and sisters in African diaspora to return home. So Kwabna, I really appreciate this. And I'm, Welcome. I'm the only thing I got to you now is like, why, why have we not done this all longer? Why? Uh, yeah, the land, I guess it wasn't ready for, um, it wasn't ready. Oh, the land, the land is, is, just, is just ready. But some has been given to, some has been sold, okay? Now, look at this area. You can see some people have built the, over there. Look at all this place on the left side. People have built and they have their houses there. Uh, so right over here, look like at the beachfront, right? Yeah, that is a beachfront. And uh, there are, uh, you see the, uh, the one that you have the post over there? Yeah, that has been given out to this place. There's a, 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 an African-American uh, who is coming to, he said he's coming to build uh, his house and then a business here on the left side. On the left side, yeah. So how big is this property again that we're going to? Your property? Yeah. 80, it's 85, 100? No, it's, it was saying a plot is uh, 80 by 100. 80 by 100 feet. Okay. But in general, you're looking at about uh, estimated 50 acres. Of land? Yes, and, um, and a plot is like a quarter of an acre. So you can get a quarter of an acre, or you can get a little bit more. But it's, uh, this is perfect, because uh, this gives more people opportunity to come and build. So the one other thing that uh, wasn't... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain some things. So these, these yeah. lands are, are for sale here? Th this ones? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. How are the neighbors around here, the people that live around here? Yeah. Who are they and have you seen them? Is it are they good? Yeah. Oh. This, is, this is a new area that was left... Uh, 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 inhabited by the chief. The reason is that the chief have in mind that in the near future, uh, his children are coming, his great grandchildren are coming, and then also our brothers and sisters who live in the diaspora, and they want them to occupy this area. That is why the Indians are down there, and then uh, this place is for the our brothers from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. Some of the Indians have land here, mm -hmm. but they haven't started. Uh, working on it. Right. Some have started. We will see some. We will see some. This is someone's uh, uh, burden uh, coming up. You see, it depends on what you want to do. In Ghana, there is something that we, 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 we called no hurry in life. There is no hurry in life because people don't go in for money to build their uh, loans for them to build their houses, but they take their time and uh, acquire money, take their time, get do some business, get this, start the foundation. After a certain years, you continue. So some people, it takes them four, five, even up to 10 years to build their dream house. So there is no hurry in life. You need to take time, and then at your own pace, you'll be able to build your dream house. This house over here, uh, I've, uh, I think uh, this foundation has been here for about two years now. So. If it take him three, four years, nobody's pushing him to do it faster. If you go in for loan, they'll push you to do it faster mm -hmm. so that they can do whatever you want to do for us to get our money. But nobody's pushing because the money belongs to you. So you took your own time and do whatever you want to do.
and this is for uh, one African American who has lived in the US uh, for some years now. So he decided to come home and then he came and he had us and he has built this wonderful edifice that we are seeing now. Excellent. So family, we have given you a nice view of this uh, land site. So if you're interested in it already, reach out to our brother Kwabina and uh, you'll get you connected.